Hello nurse, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about difference between reducing sugar and non-reducing sugars. First of all, the reducing sugars they have hemiacetyl group while the non-reducing sugars they have acetyl group or in other words they do not have hemiacetyl groups. Now what is hemiacetyl group? Hemiacetyl groups mean that one carbon has two groups attached. One group is OH while the other group is O R. In this case the R is actually C. So you can say that the carbon atom is attached with one OH and one O C group. So if this kind of arrangement is present in any sugar it means that sugar is going to be a reducing sugar so here we can see that in fructose we can also see this is carbon we have one oh group and one oc or one or group present so the hemiacetyl group is present in fructose and in glucose making them reducing sugars but in case of sucrose we can see that we do not have any hemiacetyl group but we have the acetyl group in which one carbon is attached with two OC groups here we can see one OC group and here another OC group so whenever one carbon is attached with two OC groups it means that sugar is going to be the non reducing sugars because now they don't have the free hydrogen to donate. The reducing sugars they have the ability to reduce others. Reduce other means that they are able to give their hydrogen to other metal or other component and in turn they are oxidized. It means that they have oxygen now or they are having less hydrogen. When in case of reducing sugar they do not have the free hydrogen to give to another component or to give to metal that is why they are non-reducing sugar because they lack hydrogen and because of this lacking they are not able to act as reducing sugars the reducing sugars they can be checked by the help of different tests if you are going to check the reducing sugar they are going to give the positive tests with felling and benedict uh, reagents here we have the benedict test in which the copper is present copper metal is present so if this blue color is changed into red color it means the reducing sugar is present if the blue color is retained it means that non-reducing sugar is present similarly in the felling solution the copper is going to be converted into red and if the red color is present it means the sugar is going to be reducing sugar but if the blue color is there and no red color is produced it means the sugar is non-reducing sugar the reducing sugars include monosaccharides and some disaccharides while the non-reducing sugars they have polysaccharides and some disaccharides. The examples of reducing sugars include glucose, fructose, lactose and maltose while the sugars in reducing sugar category are sucrose, glucose and starch. You can see they all are polysaccharides of glucose and because of this complex bonding they have no hydrogen available and because of this reason they are non-reducing sugars. So that was our lesson today on difference between reducing and non-reducing sugars. If you have any question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section. I will see you in the next video.